revenues and lots of shouting in the long term. Hey Happy Monday everyone! Today's morning didn't start with coffee unfortunately because I don't have any coffee left at home but we're gonna fix it right now and go buy some. Um, and yeah, I have a lot of things to do actually because start of the week I have a lot of things to film and send for approval to brands so I'm gonna um, take care of that today. I'll see one of my friends. But first, before starting to do anything work related, I need to get some coffee. Besides the fact that I for some reason didn't have a proper sleep tonight, I've been waking up a lot and having some like bad dreams throughout the night. But besides of that, we are finally semi out of lockdown. Like we have lockdown now just on Sundays and coffee shops, restaurants are open back. So I already had my morning coffee in a coffee shop. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. Like that's such an experience after not being able to have coffee anywhere in four months. That's such an experience. So I'm happy for that and it's gonna be also my first week of properly working out. I have already scheduled three classes with my personal trainer, which sounds sounds exciting because I have never had a personal trainer before. For me, that's a new experience. I really think that it's gonna be a good investment in my body. Um, I'm looking forward for that as well. I also started reading a new book and I'm not sure if you're tired of my constant book updates, but I started reading Paul Auster. It's gonna be my fourth book of him. I'm always so, so excited to start a new book by Paul Auster. Um, so I will keep you updated and I finished yesterday reading before the coffee gets cold I was so into the story. I love the book in brief words It's a, a story about cafe that allows you to go back in time But there are like some rules to that obviously so you cannot change Anything about present like there is nothing you can do to prevent someone's death or like some that kind of stuff and you have to turn back to your present time before the coffee gets cold so most of the stories were around people going back in time to meet their dead like lovers friends um, parents and to say them something they weren't able to say uh, while they were alive. So like those kind of things, I'm not gonna spoil, spoil you a lot. It's It was a good read, it wasn't like a long fat book, uh, so if you're looking to heartwarming stories, definitely check that book out and I'm already so excited about Paul Auster. The thing that I love the most about Paul Auster's book, books is that his stories are always in New York and um, yeah, I'm always excited to read something about New York and he is so specific with like addresses, address, addresses, addresses. He's so specific with address. <laughs> he's, he's so specific with addresses, addresses, I can't, addresses, addresses. Hey 
Hey guys, okay, this is a little bit weird of an angle. I have my second class today, uh, the gym class, personal training, whatever it's called, and I'm so excited, but before that, I'm gonna go and get my brows done. I don't really do a lot to my brows, but every now and then, I would say like every two or three months, I get my brows dyed, I guess it's called. So whenever I get my brows darker, it just brings a little bit of color on my face and I don't have to use like brow gel every single morning or like brow pencil. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get that done and after that I w I'm willing to go and buy some watercolor because I've been so into drawing when I was little. I was like that kid that brought paper and pencil wherever I would go. And then I just stopped drawing and painting at all and recently my mom showed me my old drawings and like paintings and I was like oh my god I miss that so yeah today I was so inspired I even like searched for some water water watercolor paints online some like tutorials and i'm inspired so i just want to go and buy some watercolor first or maybe i think i'm not gonna buy gouache or like oil paint but definitely i'll start with watercolor i think it's just it's gonna be just easier to do that at home Today my morning started with spilling boiling water on my leg accidentally while trying to make my morning coffee. It definitely is better now than it was like a couple of hours ago, but it still hurts a lot. Okay, so, well, first of all, my leg still hurts a lot, so I'm kind of, I'm not sure if it's, like, can you see that? It just hurts a lot. I'm gonna try to put my attention towards other things, and I'll finally put my hands on the watercolor I got yesterday after my gym class. Uh, so this is, like, a little set of 20 different colors. Um, it even comes with a brush I believe so it's like nothing professional but I still got another brush that is bigger so the one that comes with it is number six um, I got also a number 12 and it, it was coming with a notebook or is it notebook I'm not sure what it's called but I guess it's a notebook for watercolor um, so yeah let's I don't know let's paint I guess 